how are ultra thin keyboards even possible even if you have one wire per key the number of wires will be immense so how do engineers compact this into such thin keyboards this is possible only because of the ingenuity of engineers before we required at least 100 wires per 100 keys now we only needed 20 this can be understood better if you understand the working of a keyboard here is a smaller keyboard for example the hex keypad has numbers 0 to 9 and letters a to f a total number of 16 keys which requires eight lines four input and four output lines the output lines come from the cpu and the input lines give the cpu the input so we can find which key was pressed these lines are placed perpendicularly to each other with zero contact they do not touch each other unless any key is pressed as shown the input lines are always at 5 volts which gives a constant input of 1111 to the microcontroller if no keys are pressed let's say we are checking the first row so the output is 0111 and if the key e is pressed the input to the computer will become 1011 if for the same output the key b is pressed all the input would be 1 which means we would not know which key is pressed so in that case the output needs to be changed to 1011 since computers work on very high frequencies this changing of the output happens over a thousand times per second which means we have almost zero error in finding the key pressed. Let's understand the program behind such a keypad. Now the next section will be explained in depth and technical detail. So if you're not technically inclined, I would recommend not continuing. The following program is written in C for Intel 8051 microcontroller. The program has three main parts. One the display program this one the second being the key scan program this which scans which key was pressed changes the output of the microcontroller one by one which i explained earlier the third program is the main program which executes the sub programs that i showed earlier one by one so let's understand the main program first Port 0 and port 1 are initialized. Port 0 is the input port and port 1 is the output port. Now since we are continuously looking for the key pressed, we need an infinite loop. So while 1 is used, this whole part of the program is continuously executed. First the key scan part is executed, then these Two lines initialize the LCD on the 8051 microcontroller and print key pressed is equal to this statement over here on the LCD then this display program prints the key which was pressed on the hex keypad now let's understand how the key scan program works now this key scan program since we need to constantly monitor which key was pressed there's an infinite loop here as well now first we take row select is equal to 0x77 which means the output is 1110 for this output the if the result the first result which we can get is C so then we have a for loop this for loop is for the four rows if the first row gives an input of all ones we go to the second row then the third then the fourth and this continues here port 1 is equal to row select which means we have selected 
the first row which has D, C, D, E and F. Row select is right shifted by 1. So that means now the row select is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is later when we want to go to the next row that is from 8, 9, A, B. From C, D, E, F to 8, 9, A, B we'll send this to port 1. So we right shift it for now. Temporary is equal to port 0 and 0 F. Here port 0 gives us the key which was pressed and we are ending it with 0 F so that the first bit which we do not connect in this case just in case any input is given it becomes 0 and whatever input was coming from the hex keypad is stored here. Let's say when we pressed E, we got the input 1011. So this would be 8, 9, 10, 11. That's B. We are getting 0B over here. Now temp is equal to 0B. for j is equal to 0 j less than 4 j plus plus we are executing this loop four times these are for the four different numbers first we have selected c in result then we have to check for d then e then f so what we do is we take this 0b number which is 1011 and right shift it by 1. Once you right shift it by 1, it becomes 0, 1, 0, 1 and the last one goes to carry. And we are checking this carry. If this carry is equal to 0, we have to clear the LCD and whatever the result was is the key which was pressed. But in this case, carry is 1. So we we add 1 to result. So now result is equal to D. Now this occurs again. And this is again right shifted. So now we have 0, 0, 1, 0 and still 1 over here. Still it's, carry is not 0. So again result is increased. So now result is equal to E. Now this is, this occurs again, temp is right shifted, now temp is 0, 0, 0, 1 and carry has 0 because this last 0 is now in carry. Now since this is 0, we clear the LCD screen and return back to the main program and result is stored as E. Now, in the main program, after we called key scan, we now know result is equal to E. We initialize the LCD, then the write the string on the LCD, key pressed is equal to. Once this key, this is printed, we go to the display program. In the display program, we are converting D to its ASCII value and then writing the result. To convert any number to its ASCII value for numbers from 0 to 9 we have to add 30. Numbers above 9 we have to add 37. So in that case they will become ASCII values and when you print those ASCII values it will print the no letter you required. If result is greater than 09 which condition does it satisfy? This one. So we have to add 37. Else result plus 07. If this is not the case this has to be the case and at that point we have to add 30 to it. And after this is written we write the result on the LCD screen. So on the LCD screen you already have 
की प्रेस्ट इक्वल टू नाउ द राइट रिजल्ट विल हैव थर्टी सेवन प्लस डी इन इट विच इज द एस की वैल्यू फॉर डी द एल सी डी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट द एस की वैल्यू मीन्स द लेटर डी सो इट विल प्रिंट डी हो सो नाउ हियर दिस वॉज ओनली फॉर वन रो वॉट इफ वी नीड टू गो टू द सेकेंड रो इन द की स्कैन प्रोग्राम If this program is executed four times, and we do not get an answer, then we go to this part, where else result is equal to result minus four. Before we had C in the result, now we will have result C minus four, which will be eight. Then again, if it happens, then it goes. back one more which is 5 so 4 which is 4 then it goes back to 0 in this way it checks all the row and comes back to c and this occurs on and on till the program is stopped